you thought about it, researched everything about it, worked on it, spent so much money, so much time and so much energy. But a little mistake could ruin everything and your application might get rejected. I know nobody would want it. So in this video, I would be talking about common mistakes that people make while applying for Canadian PR. Realistic scenarios of real people as well. So I would request you to watch this video until the end and please take a note of all those mistakes and please don't do those mistakes. Hello guys, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on Canadian PR process. I'll be uploading a video series on Australian PR process very, very soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe right now. Okay guys, before I begin this video, let me quickly tell you about this new Dream Abroad Canada discussion page. I made this discussion group over here in Facebook just to help you guys already more than 700 people have joined it. This page is made just to help you guys. You can ask your queries over here and people in this page are really helpful and they all help you guys. You know, I request you if you have the knowledge, please help the other guys who asked you their queries. I made this page because I was not able to reply to each and every comment. I was really feeling bad about it. So I made this page. Uh, yesterday I did, uh, I did a poll here and in around you know more than around 150 people have already voted here and more than 90 percent people believe that this page has been helpful they have it has been helping them so if you haven't joined this page yet if you haven't joined the discussion group yet please join this right now and ask your queries i'll provide the link in the description box below okay guys so job most of the Applications that get rejected revolve around this point only. So let me point out the major points here and then we will talk about them in detail. First of all, fake documents. Then job duties not matching with NOC code. No reference letters or multiple jobs but no documents. So fake documents. Talking about it, if you submit the fake documents and you get caught. In that case, Guys, your application would be rejected for sure. Also, you might be blacklisted for a few years. So please don't do that. Okay, job duties not matching with NOC code. Of course, you know that you have to select an NOC code and your job duties should match with that NOC code. So if in case your job duties are different, whatever is written in the reference letter is, for, is different with that NOC code. In that case, your application also might get rejected at least 75 to 80 percent job duties should definitely match no reference letters guys reference letter is definitely the mandatory document so it is it needs to be submitted please don't miss it out multiple jobs with no documents in case you have done three or four different jobs and you are able to, you are unable to furnish the documents for any of those however you've declared it in your profile that you've worked in all those companies in that case your application might get rejected as well because if you declare it you have to prove the documents then only they'll take that point that you have actually worked in that company okay so please don't do that police clearance certificates missing out PCC obviously you don't want to do that it's a mandatory document so please do not miss out PCC adverse report if in case you know any Charges around traffic don't matter, but if it is a serious offense, if there's a case against you in the judicial court, then your application, there are high chances that your application will be rejected. PCC for a short duration of your stay abroad. Let's suppose you're, you were in UK or Australia or America, anywhere for more than six months. Of course, you have to submit the PCC, you know it by now. In that case, Let's suppose you were there for 10 months, but you submitted the PCC only for a shorter duration for six or eight months. In that case, 
your application might also get rejected yes they might come back to you asking for it but they also have the right to reject it so please don't do that why take risk proof of funds so there are so many queries around it i made a couple of videos on it as well if you don't have the money guys please note it down that it is mandatory to show proof of funds and you should have it so let's suppose you have it you know you, you sold a gold jewelry or you sold your car or maybe a property or anything else or mutual funds or stock uh, or any stocks in that case you should have a receipt of it any amount credited to your bank account should be proved by you that it was you know i got this amount credited because of this reason so if in case you've got it got money from your parents or relatives you should submit a gift deed for that i also made a video for that so just in case you want to uh, check it out you can go and check my channel about it manipulating the required money please don't try to manipulate it anything you try to do you know might land might land your application into trouble so any big amount that gets credited to your account you have to show the proof for that if that is in the past 6 months then you have to show the proof you know if, uh, if it is you know before that maybe like 8 to 10 months you don't have to show the proof they would never get to know about it okay relative in canada so this is very important some provinces like saskatchewan and manitoba actually give additional points for relatives in canada in their provinces actually so if you provide them any misleading inf information you don't have a relative but you do provide them the uh, information in that case your application is in trouble for sure also they have a list of documents that which you should submit for as a proof that you you have the relative in canada so if in case you are not able to furnish that proof yes you you think that your uh, your relative will give you the document but he somehow doesn't give you the document in that case your application again might fall into trouble so please make sure that you can arrange those list of documents then only you should nominate or you know give the name of your relative because you will be given additional points for that so please take a note of that as well medical examination please make sure that your all of your family members go through the medical examination if in case uh you you know if there's any serious disease of course that's the uh, that's their decision if they want to admit in, uh, if they want to ap uh, accept the application or reject it i am not worried to tell them uh, that part but of course you should not miss out anybody from your family because you know that medical examination is required for everybody even if your family members is going with you or not okay providing incorrect information while creating profile and visa submission guys please don't do that please don't do that there is a declaration at the end of every form that yes this the knowledge this is uh, the information provided is best to your knowledge if in case they find out that you provide the wrong information any information which is wrong and which get which gets caught which will certainly land your application into trouble your application will get rejected there are cases many cases where the application have got rejected based on the incorrect information and people have got blacklisted for many years and of course when they apply after those many years your their application would again go into consideration and several checks will happen so please don't do that okay now let me talk about the real time scenarios of real people why their application got rejected so let's begin Okay guys so I am here in the imi tracker myimitracker.com this is the web the website that I you know I made a video about it a couple of days back and it was highly appreciated if uh, you want if you haven't seen that video and want to know about this imi tracker how it works you can go and check out that video I'll provide the link in the description box below so I what I've done here is I've sorted this imi tracker from the diffusal point of view this is one of the columns here so i've sorted it out and i have you know taken out some of the cases here and i would you know tell you in detail so let's see i have taken out randomly some of the cases here let's see what are the primary reasons of refusal of the application okay so this was somebody from china 
and this was uh, 2016 let's see why it got rejected so let's see what does he has to say okay my application is refused because the job duty was missing in letter of employment so again what I told you job duties should be mentioned and they should match with the NOC code okay the other one someone from which country this someone from Nigeria and let's see why it got rejected okay this one here my application was rejected and cancelled by CIC for uploading my son's birth certificate in place of his travel document uh, very sad he did a mistake and his application got rejected so please make sure that you upload the right documents for your dependents and for you as well okay let's see the another one uh, this one is somebody from Pakistan I was just checking it out so for Pakistan I guess they have uh, got some specific criteria, some specifications for PCC and those were not followed here my police certificate from my home country did not cover the complete period of my stay so I remember in my PCC there was no period mentioned as such so I guess this is only for Pakistan so anybody from India need not worry about it it is mentioned over here that there are so many specifications in terms of Pakistan so anybody watching this video from Pakistan please take a note of that all of these things should be mentioned uh, for you in your PCC next one somebody from China let's see uh, what's the problem Ear experience, uh, okay. Ear experience in Canada studying and doing some research. I thought it would be treated as a work experience in Canada, but they seemed they seemed not satisfied with this. Uh, fair enough. He was doing some research and studying, and he included that. And he thought that it was a work experience. That is not a work experience, so his application got rejected. Any wrong information would get rejected. Somebody from India, let's see why his application got rejected. okay missing driving history from Victoria Australia is a common cause of rejection yes somebody who is applying from Australia who has been there in Australia needs to submit their driving history and if that is missing or if that is adverse that is actually a, that is actually a point of rejection so anybody who has been there in Australia this is a point of rejection please take a note of that okay next one uh, somebody from Pakistan again let's see uh, what's the reason employment verification somebody asking it yes related to job verification issue with one of the jobs I was not able to prove one of my jobs so that this point I told you a while ago if you're not able to prove all of your jobs if you're not provide able to provide the documentation your application might get rejected another one um, let's see okay one of the one of my supporting documents related to work was not proper this was the reason for the refusal so you have to be very accurate in terms of what the document the uh, job document especially what you are providing so please take care of that okay uh, UK PCC I got my UK PCC on 17th and I left the country on 24th so I was there were seven missing days that at the point I added that point of, uh, earlier that you should have your PCC for the entire duration of stay okay let's see the next one reason of refusal because my office was not convinced that my spouse's sister currently resides in Canada we provided her lease agreement but I guess they needed more documents so that point which I told about the relative in Canada you need to provide relevant documents for that please don't miss out those documents just a couple more uh, let's see uh, the other one okay refused because I did not provide a letter of employment if you don't provide letter of employment your application will straight away be rejected please don't do that uh, he just sent an email to reopen his case after that okay let's see what happens next uh, I was refused since I did not get the Indian PCC so if of course it's a mandatory document so it would get rejected he was living in he or she was living in uh, Singapore and so he missed out his Indian PCC you have to do that you just can't do that mistake okay this is something to do with the this is a complex one actually I was reading this out 
this is something to do with the uh, documents that was uploaded there were some mistakes in the documents which were uploaded and you know due to that reason probably some software mistakes or something like that due to that reason uh, his uh, application got rejected okay next one and this is the last one uh, let's see we submitted okay uh, refused because of insufficient documentation regarding work experience they could not verify the roles and responsibilities with the noc because we did not submit the reference letter so they did submit the relieving letter the appointment letter pay slips promotion related documents all those documents they submitted but they didn't submit the reference letter which is the most important document in terms of job verification or uh, your job experience so please don't miss out on that guys so this i won't uh, you know i i know that this video has already got very long you can go to this me tracker and check out the details on your own you can just click on any one of these and you will uh, these cases will open so you can check out the common reasons and do not make this mistake so guys the purpose of this video was to make you aware that tiny things like this can cause a refusal to your application so you have to be very careful and very attentive while preparing all your documents and while submitting your application while providing the information to IRCC. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video was useful. If you have any queries, please comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like it. Please click the like button and if you think that this video will be helpful to any of your friends, colleagues or relatives, please share this video with them. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe right now.